gonna do a floor height learn. So before the floor height learn, you wanna check these values on the right side of the eye view. Um, if they're defaulted, means they're, they haven't been learned yet. Uh, the reason I wanna keep in mind is uh, they wanna make sure they update uh, after you learn the floor heights to make sure it went through properly. Uh, so here we're gonna go to view, setup, floor heights. Get this window to pop up. You can increase the size. So here's a couple of directions here at the bottom. So place a machine room inspection on. Verify UNTD is on. DNTD is off. ULM is on. DLM is off. Test is on. Learn is on. So let's walk over to our controller. Right now it says not ready. So it asks for our test to be on, our learn to be on. On the left side, you can see your UNTD, DNTD, and your, and your uh, ULM to make sure you get the correct lights on. So right now, we still have DNTD on, so we're gonna inspection and down till we get the DNTD light to come off. So DNTD is off. Keep in mind ULM is not, and that's what the system is asking for. So we're gonna go up just a little bit more till we get that ULM high. There we go. So ULM is high. DNTD is off. Make sure we have our right privilege too. So, might need to toggle your learning test back on and off and on. So now we got it to say ready. So here we have a type for auto or manual. It's preferred manual where you just hold the inspection and up while you're learning the floor heights, but you could also do it on auto. That way you're able to view to make sure you get your up leveling marker, door zone and down leveling marker while it's passing the magnets. If you're missing one or the other as it's passing the magnet in the hoist way, that'll prevent you from achieving a successful floor height learn. So you can tell it might have timed out, so probably went back to not ready because we're taking too long. So I'm gonna go back. Toggle on. All right, so we're gonna click learn. We're gonna do on auto. We click learn. So it's gonna say, place machine room inspection, switch to normal. Let's go ahead and do that. So right here you want to keep in mind, it says acquiring floor markers. You want to make sure that you monitor that, that it stays on that message throughout the whole learn run. If you're getting a, a floor transition fault or acquire more floor, um, floor markers than saved or less than saved, um, then those, those errors can be found. So while it's doing the floor head learn, we go ahead over here and click the F1. So you can tell that that popped up and it goes, it should go straight to your floor height setup page. So you're gonna go down and you're gonna go to status, displays messages. And here's gonna show you the errors so acquiring floor markers, that's the normal one. Invalid transition, it'll show you the errors and what to look for. Even though it's gonna say done at the end, your floor heights after, they won't update after you turn the learn switch off. So something to keep in mind if you're getting floor location fault or 
position sync or terminal sync after. So whole troubleshooting here. It'll give you a good explanation on what to check for before you do the next floor height learn. Um, another thing to check is your operational status screen. So the car is going up. You want to check on logical, actual, and car top. Car top is just a raw counter. As the car is going up, all three of these values should be going positive. And then running down on inspection, they should all go negative. Um, if they don't, uh, you might have a jumper JP3 on the island that needs to be changed to the other position in order to do that. Or you might need to change your DP1 and DP2 signals. Uh, but that's something to look out for. If, if you get no errors here, and but your floor heads don't update, um, run on inspection and check these three to make sure that's going the correct way as we've seen that many times before. So here we're still saying acquiring floor markers there. It's finishing up. Passing the door zone as UNTD goes low. Get your up direction limit open. Should sink back down to door zone. In progress done. So follow directions, place a learn switch in the off position. Learn switch off. And you can tell on the right side that the floor heights have updated. You want to keep records, so after each floor height learned, they should update, you know, by 0 .001 at least. But you never want all of them to stay the same. 